Hi, I'm Michelle Asaf. Welcome to the Live at Broadway Dance Center Active Isolated Strength Program. This is a revolutionary technique that was developed in order to pinpoint, isolate, and strengthen each individual muscle used to perform as a dancer and athlete. I've been in this industry for the last 20 years, and as a director, choreographer, and teacher, I've seen injury, weakness, and so much frustration among young dancers as well as professionals who are unaware of just how to strengthen properly. This technique will give them the tools to do so. We have Jim and Phil Wharton, the founders of this method, here with us today to help us out. So let's get started. We're going to start at the feet and work our way all the way up the body. Dancers and other athletes should strength train because in the activity they're doing in dance or another sport, they're actually using the muscles to do the activity. Generally, we think that by, by doing the activity, we're getting stronger. To a degree, we are, but there's a diminishing return because we're actually using the muscle to do that activity. We've got to put structural strength back in or measured resistance back into the muscle to continue to do the activity. So the first exercise we're going to do is to strengthen the arches. You want the towel all the way in front of you, and you're going to sit with the right foot at a 90-degree angle forward in the chair. I want you to watch my foot. All I'm going to do is curl all five toes and try to bring that weight towards me. So using all five toes, as fast as I can, I'm curling my toes. Once that towel is underneath my foot, I'm just going to lift the heel and adjust the towel, either with my hand or you can do it with your other foot, and then continue bringing that weight towards you. Now something that's very important, watch my foot from the side. When I go to arch my foot, I want you to imagine that there's a big ant that's crawling underneath it. So the distance between my baby toe and the floor has to be the same as the distance between the big toe and the floor. You don't want to collapse to the outside or collapse to the inside. Okay? So you're going to do this three times, pushing your towel out, take the right foot again. If you find that you can't lift the outside of your foot, you can even use your finger and just help assist so that that foot starts to feel where it has to lift up. So we're going to now start doing the strengthening for the ankle. So I want you to pull the toes up, put the hands underneath. We're going to do this reps of 10 and release. So demi point, flex, and release. So your toes come up first and release. Make sure that your big toe doesn't come up first, but the baby toes. Again, flex and release. And six and let it go and seven, think of spreading all five toes, and eight, release, two more, really pull it up, nine, release, and 10, and let it go, 